Hey everyone, Retire on Dividends here, making a monthly update on my portfolio, my Retire my retire Now Dividends portfolio, which basically is set up to help me retire early. So, first, let's go through the bad news, right? I wouldn't necessarily call it bad news, but it's more like ripping off of a, a Band-Aid. Um, so, in, in summary, you guys knew I sold Tesla, um, but... It was over the span of three months, essentially. And for the month of April, that was the last of it. It was 250 shares. Unfortunately, I had to take a capital loss of another $2,600. But now I am officially out of TSLY. And I have since been trading options on TSLL myself. And that's a double leverage fund of Tesla. And it's been working out pretty good. And I'll show you that in a second. I also got out of Kony uh, with a small capital gain of $3. However, obviously, you know, on both of these, obviously I was making distributions. So overall, it, the, you know, the loss wasn't that bad. But the reason I got out of Kony, um, you know, as an individual ETF stock, it's been performing outstanding. There's no denying that. I just, I'm trying to lower the risk tolerance in my portfolio. And I wanted to get rid of Kony um, because it has the crypto exposure, you know, I'm not saying I don't believe in crypto. I just don't want that high risk, um, you know, in my portfolio anymore because Kony can go up, it can go down, it can go wherever. So my exposure to Kony and all the others really are through WiMAX, okay? And also Ulti. So yeah, I decided to kind of move my high risk exposure really to Ulti, um, also, TLTW, you know, I've never really been a huge fan of that. I thought it was pretty good to diversify with. But in the end, I just got sick of it and I got rid of it. I said, now I'm cutting ties with you. So I took $195, $194 capital loss on that. All right, now that the, the, the worst part's out of the way, let's get into the fun stuff. So um, I put May 4th. What is today? Is that even right? Today, Yeah, today's May 4th. I'm probably going to launch this on May 5th, the Sunday. But either way, it's all good. It's the weekend. We're all happy. We're all having fun. But let's go in order. How did I do for this month? So AMSI overall, you know, for the month I did. Now I added a monthly distribution column. So for AMSI capital wise, I am up $570. That's capital gains alone on paper. Monthly distributions, they have paid me $160.31. Uh, total distributions to date, they have paid me $913. And distribution return on investment, this means like comparing my total distributions versus how much I invested in originally, I got 18% of my original investment back so far, which is really good. Total return, uh, um, you know, I made $1,484. And total return percentage, I'm up 30%. So AMSI is doing very well. NVIDIA is doing even better. Again, I'm not going to go through every single one like this, uh, but maybe at least, you know, these two, and then we'll go from there. NVIDIA is uh, seven, well, right now it's 9% of my portfolio. By the way, AMSI is 11% of my portfolio. Uh, NVIDIA is 9.5% of my portfolio. And I am up on NVIDIA capital gain wise, again, on paper, $856, which is really, really good. Uh, my monthly distributions, $469. They paid very well in the month of April. Total distributions, um, you know, I've received $1,680. And distribution ROI is closing in on 50%. So I received 43% of my original investment back on NVIDIA. So, you know, for those of you that say yield max sucks, yield max, you'll never, you know, it's just paying your own money. Okay, it's paying my own money, yet I'm up on capital. And I got 43% of my original investment back. So um, whatever. Anyway, total return, $2,537. Total return percentage, 65%. Amazing, amazing. Nephly, um, again, that's another one I love. I do. I know they're down right now. Um, but it's 7.98% of my portfolio. I'm actually down on capital. I've been up on them for a while, but then they, they recently had a dip. I'm down 179 bucks, but overall, you know, total return wise, I'm up 21%. All right, so Phoebe, 
Phoebe's a recent purchase um, I got into. I actually now own 110 shares. So they're 4% of my portfolio. Um, but capital gain wise, I'm down. Total return wise, I'm down. But again, it's brand new. I got in and of course they dripped. I mean, they dropped. And then, um, you know, here I am. Obviously, I'm going to continue to average down though, make it a larger position. Not too large though. As you know, like 5%. You know, is kind of the sweet spot, but overall, how many funds do I own right now? 18, so obviously I have to have over 5%. Um, but yeah, we'll say like 10% should be the max. Obviously, AMZ's above that, but you know, Phoebe could be, you know, it could be a little above the 4% where it's at now. YMAX, again, YMAX is going to be, it's going to grow. This is going to be one of my bigger funds. Uh, right now, they're 4% of my portfolio. Capital gain wise, um, I'm up, you know, $33, whoopie do, I know. But total distributions, again, this is kind of newer to my portfolio. $36, but total return wise, I'm up 3.46%. YMAX, I only own 100 shares, but you know, I'm getting there. Ulti, um, this is a newer purchase as well. Again, Ulti is really the problem child, we'll call it, in my portfolio. It's the one that gets in trouble all the time. But I have some room for that type of risk. You know, I'll say a little room. Not much. Um, you know, I got rid of Coney. I got rid of Tesla because I didn't I didn't want the risk. Ulti is very high risk. However, it's a diversified high risk and it's a fun it's a fun fund. Um, it's not performing well and there's no way to sugarcoat it. It's actually sucked, you know, since they launched. But the market has not been doing that fantastic overall since Ulti launched. So we can't hold too much of that against them. So we'll give them some time. Um, anyway, I own 50 shares of Ulti. Um, I'm down 116 bucks, but I have gotten paid $70 so far. So total return, I'm only down 5%. Clip, I mean, Clip, I mean, I can't complain, man. Clip has done pretty damn good. I have 130 shares of Clip. I mean, I'm down capital-wise. I'm down $222, but I've received 419 bucks in distribution. So I'm actually up on Clip 9%. So... I really, I want to get more exposure into Clip. Right now, they're 3% of, 3 of my portfolio. They should be at least five uh, for the international exposure. Now, here we go with the Defiance funds. <clears throat> you know, they're, they've been having a rough, rough bit of it. But my allocation on Jeppy, QQQY, and IWMY are around 4 to 5%. And then Spy T's around 1.55%. Capital gain-wise, I'm down on all of them. All right, so if you take the total distributions um, that I got from them, um, you know, I'm still down total return, but not by much, right? IWMY, I'm down the most. I'm down 3% total return. SPY T, I'm down 2%. But again, the market hasn't been doing that great. So I, I, you know, I trust that number will get better in time. You know, the other two are doing pretty good, though. They're kind of like, it's kind of flat. They'll... Again, it's been it's been a rough bit, so um, it's hard to judge it this month. Now the XDTE QDTE, I have a very all I did. I bought two shares of each. I'm like, hey, let me see how this goes. I was gonna buy in more, and in the beginning they weren't really performing that great, um, and I haven't bought more. To be honest, I am not sure about these funds yet. I am not. I, I need to do a. I'm gonna do like after like two months. I'm gonna do a review on them and see how they do, and then I'll probably make my decision mid video or something. But as of right now, I don't know. Um, I, I haven't bought into them. Overall, I'm down. You know, well, this should be red, but I'm down worse on QDTE. I'm down almost three percent. So you know, it's not a great start. But again, the market hasn't been fantastic lately. On some stocks, it has been. On some, it hasn't. So either way. Why are these not red? These should all be red. Total return. All right, whatever. Sorry, guys. I'll fix that for next time. All right, what else do I own? I own SFOL. So I own how many shares? 110 shares of SFOL. They are 4.95% of my current allocation. Uh, capital gain-wise, I'm down 15 bucks. I've been up on them for a while, but you know now I'm down 15.40. Uh, total return, um, well, total distributions, they have paid me 171 in particular, they paid me $33 this month, uh, but I'm up 6.27% total return on those on, on S-Fall. I love S-Fall. I mean, I do. I love Spy Eye, 70 shares of Spy Eye. They, they're a little more expensive per share. They're 6.85% uh, of my allocation, and I'm fine with that. You know, in fact, I, I'm fine with buying more. 
Uh, capital gain wise, I'm up um, 82.60. So you take that with the total distributions, total return, I'm, at, I'm up almost 10%. QQQY is kind of like Spy Eye's brother. I'm starting to get that fund a little bigger. I own 30 shares. Um, it's been dipping though. So I'm down 17.40 in capital. Um, and I only got paid so far 11.73. So total return um, is down 0.38%. HCAL, one of my favorite ones. I own 70 shares of that one. Uh, this one pays a very low dividend, though, but they have dividend growth. Capital gain-wise, um, you know, I'm, I'm always up on HCAL, but they've been dipping lately. Um, I was able to add some shares. This is the only one I've been averaging up because it doesn't go below my cost basis. But anyway, uh, capital gain-wise, I'm up 44.80. And, you know, monthly distribution, like I say, they don't pay much, but I gotta, I gotta, it's going to grow. 10.54. Uh, total return wise, though, I'm up 4.62%. Last but not least, you know, some may say the GOAT is FEPI. Rex Shares Fund FEPI. You know, it's an outstanding fund. Current allocation, it's 7.42% of my portfolio. I'm okay with FEPI being 10%. So, of course, I will add when I have more money. Capital gain wise, it's actually on a downward, you know, trend right now. I'm down 177.80. Total distributions, though, 190. So total return, I am up on FEPI, 0.32%. Last but not least, TSLL. This is the double leverage fund of uh, Tesla. This is the one I trade options on. I own 800 shares. I actually just got called away. You know, 100 shares just, just got called away. Um, but now I own 800 shares. Cost basis is 739. And I am up, cost basis wise, um, I'm up 574. The uh, current allocation of TSLL in my portfolio is about 13%, which is okay. I'm okay with it being around, honestly, probably around 20% because I want to do more options myself, obviously, along with investing in high-yield option funds. Monthly distributions, even though this is technically monthly options income, I, I made $478 in options income from TSLL this month. Total distribution, $769. That's from inception, obviously. Um, you know, so total return, basically 13%. So I'm doing really good on options. So <coughs> overall, again, after we ripped off the Band-Aid, we got rid of Tesla, we got rid of TLTW, and we got rid of Kony. Um, I know people are going to be like, what is wrong with you getting rid of Kony? But again, it's just my personal feel, you know, I want to sleep better at night. I want to, you know, limit the, I'll say the crypto or crazy high implied volatility exposure and own more of the safer ones. Uh, but either way, anyway, uh, so my current, my original invest, well, overall capital gain wise, I'm actually up 281. Obviously, this is excluding the taxable losses I took, which we'll show you in a second. Um, and total distributions, 6,523. Total returns, 6,200. All right, so now let's get down to the summary. So real quick, my goal, again, my starting investment was $40,000. I hope to yield 40% 40, 40 annualized, all right? So again, that was my strategy, and I started in September, okay? So again, and that was when, at that time, I was putting in $1,000 per month um, towards my, you know, my retirement. However, since then, I cannot, I can no longer put money um, in, you know, outside money, I'll say, into this account. Because my wife stopped working and we're living off one income with two kids, so I'm sure you can appreciate um, it's nearly impossible to put any additional funds. However, I did add the assistance column and I did get a bonus this month, um, so I, I was able to put an additional $1,000 into the fund this month, kind of a boost to help me. However, I also took a realized loss, as I mentioned, of TSLY and others, 26 32 50 which is okay. So I had to reduce my capital gain goals um, by that number. So for the month of April, my capital goal was 49722 I actually closed above that. For the first time, I met my capital gain goal, uh, 49000 you know, I'm at 49,952. So that's, you know, I'm 0.46% ahead. Now, income wise, I was supposed to hit 1,656. And guess what? I hit 2,000, 2,000, But this is mainly because of the options trading I've been doing. I've been doing pretty good on options trading. And also I did, you know, the $1,000 assistance helped. So, you know, <clears throat> it's, uh, 
it was a really good month. And by the way, I'm yielding 49% of my money. So I know a lot of people said 40% is not sustainable, but so far it is. Um, so far, you know, the, only the first month I couldn't hit 40%, but again, I just started. So um, I trust, you know, I've been hitting my income goals almost every month except the first one. So we'll see how it goes. You know, next month I have, you know, it's going to be a while till I, you know, per this, I have to hit 2000. So if I can stay above 2000, I'm going to hit my income goal for the next couple, you know, next few months. Capital will be a different story. Again, I want to stay capital flat. Um, you know, this capital estimate uses a capital flat, you know, calculation. Um, so at least, you know, again, the realized losses, that's not good, man. I, I mean, I took a hit. I took a big hit because of TSLY. But it was a lesson learned, okay? You know, I, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. And Tesla, to me, in my opinion, it doesn't do well in the yield max, um, you know, strategy. So that's why I decided to do options by myself on TSLL. If you own Tesla again, you know, I don't, it's a good, you know, do what you do. It, everyone has their own risk tolerance. I'm not saying Tesla shit. I just don't, me personally, I don't think it's gonna, you know, it doesn't, recover properly like the other funds because it's too volatile for the IV that it gets. And I don't know if that makes sense, but basically the IV doesn't show the movement. I mean, I don't, there's no other way to say it. I just don't see it. So I had to get out. So I took the loss. I'm moving on and going forward, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to strive to hopefully just build up what I have. You know, obviously I'm going to buy and sell here and there as I make other decisions, but you know, we'll see how it goes. But overall, a good month. The first time I made over $2,000 in dividend and options income, you know, combined. So I'm happy. I'm very happy with that number. Now, again, my goal is to retire in, I think this, what does this go do? Uh, September of 2030, which, is you know, I started this when? I started this September of 2023. Okay. So that's seven years. In seven years, I should have capital of $965,000. I also should be making $31,000 in monthly income, okay? Is that enough to retire? Absolutely. With inflation though, who knows? But right now, yes, it's enough. So this is without even putting new money in, you know, this calculation, okay? So hopefully if, you know, again, this is a very active account. I, I have to be very active active, not only for the options trading that I'm doing, but active because the yield max funds, I have to get into them at the right time. I buy in on the dips. So my yield on cost is better and so on and so forth. But again, um, I did share this spreadsheet. People always ask me, can you share the spreadsheet? Yes, it's in the discord. It's under the spreadsheets channel. So go check it out. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm happy. I'm always happy to share my portfolio and how I did you know, the lessons learned, the mistakes. Again, I took a loss, so be it. But now I can move on. And, you know, I can appreciate the funds that are doing well. Again, do I have high risk? Absolutely. Ulti is very high risk. Ulti is actually garbage at the moment. But, you know, I actually, I think I want to give them a chance. You know, I think they could do very well. There's a lot of flexibility with that one per the prospectus. So I think the fund manager, you know, if they do it right, that could turn into something really good. You know, some of these others, do I consider them high risk? Not necessarily, to be honest, you know, XDTE, QDTE, still up for debate. We'll see. But overall, I am very happy with my portfolio. Okay. I am very happy. Not going to lie. All right. So that's the update, um, monthly update. Again, I'm making this on the Saturday. I got to head to the gym right now, but um, I'm going to launch it to Sunday. Hopefully you guys watch it while it premieres. If not, just watch it whenever. Um, and let me know what you think of my portfolio. Is it shit? Or is it awesome? Or is it, eh, you know, either way, I'm all, I'm, I'm all for listening. Um, again, it's a work in progress. Next month, hopefully, again, uh, hopefully I can stay over 50000 starting next month. We can move on from the $40,000 range. I mean, it's, it's been tough. But again, yeah, the capital's got to build up with the di distribution income. If I need assistance and I have the money, I may throw some money in. But again, they, that's what the assistance column is for. A little slight boost in helping me hit my goals, kind of like a cheat code, right? But anyway, guys, that's the update. As always, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. This video is for fun and entertainment. So hopefully you had fun. Hopefully you were entertained. And uh, let me know what you think, um, you know, about the portfolio overall. Um, and if you enjoy this content, 
please hit the like button. And, um, you know, if you have other, you know, friends that may be interested, feel free to share the channel. You know, we, we grow organically here. Um, you know, it's a normal everyday, you know, person channel. I, I record videos on a phone. I'm in my car right now, warming up the car. Now it's officially warm right before I leave for the gym. So hopefully, uh, you know, you guys can appreciate this is like, uh, <clears throat> I don't have a, a microphone. I don't have <clears throat> fancy lights in the background. I don't have a fancy camera. I have a phone. All right. And, uh, that's it. But that's all you need, right? Anyway, I'm done yapping. Um, enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys, or whatever day this is. Enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Have a good one.